Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. We are on day five here in Tao Paulo, hoping to find us a nice little Cyndaquil or Onyx. Looks like we get that dark screen again for the first time in a while. Uh, with 6,751 sneaky snacking to start off with. Not enough to push us into Ultra 5, but we're almost there. Definitely going to be there after breakfast. 100 sleep points puts us at 3,776. And our daily lottery is ooh ooh very nice a medium ingredient ticket i think i'm just gonna save those i i don't know i feel like i've used those a little bit too quickly in the past and they're kind of a really nice boost on weeks where you just need some extra filler and you're just really behind on your ingredient count so i think i'm gonna hold on to that for a while but let's jump into this sleep report again looking for cyndaquil or onyx so we need either snoozing or a slumbering sleep type or balanced balanced is good too but it just kind of depends on how things go eight hours 54 minutes of sleep and we've got eight percent dozing 46 percent snoozing and 46 percent slumbering okay balanced again that's good that means we have a chance at both Let's see, we got, I think it was like 22 something million yesterday, so we should be close to 30 today. Just over 30, ooh, 31, 31 million. With only seven spawns, but it's on a top belly, so that should bode well for a Cyndaquil, maybe. A top belly Togepi, ooh, okay. I don't think we're gonna have anything new. And, Hmm. <laughs> Nothing new. Hey, Shuppet. Shuppet's good. We do need one of those as well. A better one. So we've got Shuppet, Swalot, Haunter, Wigglytuff, Growlithe, uh, Togepi, and Eevee. Growlithe, unfortunately, I do not need you at all. But it looks like the Shuppet is probably going to be the only thing that I'm concerned about out of this group. Um, of course, the Growlithe is the hungry one. The one that I objectively have the best specimen of any of the species of Pokemon I've caught so far. Um, yeah. Um, the Shuppet is the only thing I'm really worried about because we do need a better one. Um, we need... I think our, the best one I have is like 60... I forget what it was. It's the one we caught... What was it last week or the week before? And it was 60-something percent or PR. So, unfortunately, not uh, not a big hit or anything. So it looks like another day this week where we're not catching and taking anything home with us. Let me see our supply of biscuits. Our biscuit supply is actually starting to look pretty healthy. Kind of want to keep it that way. I don't want to uh, spend any biscuits that we don't really need to spend. The Shuppet would be good, but uh, it's not necessary at the moment it's not a high priority so i guess we're just gonna go ahead and wrap it up and we're not gonna take anything home with us uh oh yeah i didn't even think about candy to send out um mm, it's actually a good call or a good question which uh which candy is the right one i kind of want to say jigglypuff candy for the healer aspect of wigglytuff but i feel like most people send that out so what's something that we can send out to kind of balance the scales i feel like the main three that i normally would pick would be like the haunter the wigglytuff or the eevee but everybody's already done that so what if we send out the shuppet i feel like that would probably help out the most granted my one candy is probably not going to help in the grand scheme of things but maybe if enough of us kind of tip the scales towards some of the lesser sent out candies maybe we can help everybody in a more general sense we did get 1494 research xp and 2713 dream shards all right let's move on and see i think oh new news oh new event oh and Comfe. oh okay that is not anywhere close to what I ex would have expected to be the next Pokemon released. I thought it would be a fire or a water type to go along with uh, 
Entei or Suicune, just like we had with the Dene and Raikou. Okay, well, so we've got Komfei coming to the game. It seems Komfei has been spotted near certain areas. Maybe this is thanks to the sleep research you've all been conducting. It may be possible to encounter it during sleep research soon. Uh, okay, so beginning April 22nd, today is the 12th, so in 10 days, which would make that Monday, right? I think that's correct. Oh yeah, and right before the good sleep day as well. Uh, Comfey incense can be used starting from the date and time above, so maybe we can get it beforehand. And it's gonna be on green grass, cyan, beach, and lapis, so that's good. It isn't only on one island, so newer players will also be able to get it, as well as some of the uh, more veteran players that are going to lapis, you can also run into it there, so fantastic. Snoozing type, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, that's, I'm curious what the, uh, what it's going to be, like what kind of specialist and what its main skill will, will end up being. But anyway, the bigger news, we have an event coming up, the Flower Festival event lasts from 4 a.m. on Monday, April 22nd. So the same day Comfey comes out to Monday, April 29th in all areas. Ooh, every island. So we don't have to just be on green grass. That's even better. Um, which means that for sure, not either of the beasts are coming out this month. That'll be next month, I'm assuming. During this event, you'll be able to meet Pokemon of various sleep types, regardless of your own. In particular, grass type and fairy type Pokemon will be more likely to appear. So definitely getting us ready for, um, oh, what's it called? Uh, Lapis, getting people good grass types to take to Lapis. Uh, also, during this event, Snorlax's requested dishes will be set to salads. Ooh, I wonder if this means we're getting more recipes for salads like we did with desserts. And the final strength value for dishes will be multiplied by 1.5. Sounds like that's what's happening. The multiplier for extra tasty dishes will be different depending on the day. Ooh. I don't remember if this was the same last time around when we did the dessert event uh, for Valentine's Day. On Sunday, extra tasty dishes will give 4.5 times as much strength, and on other days, it will give out three times as much, which means that Dedenne might actually be worthwhile to have on your team just to boost those chances if you've got a good Dedenne. Uh, and during this week-long event, one of the Pokemon that visits during your sleep research will for sure arrive hungry. That's nice, so we get a guaranteed hungry every day. Note this applies to only one sleep session per day. This effect applies separately from the hungry effects of the friend incense and the good camp tickets, so you can really stack those up and end up uh, with at least three hungry guaranteed. If you use a good camp ticket and a friend incense together, that's exactly what they're saying. Uh, in addition, through limited time missions during the event, you can get great rewards such as Comfey incense, so that's how we get it. Uh, we hope you're looking forward to it. How to progress in the event. Participating in the event is easy. Simply tap the sleep button before going to sleep during the event period to track your sleep. Uh, and it's on any island, so it doesn't matter where you go. Uh, if you don't want to participate in the hunt for Comfey, you can still go to uh, Snowdrop and Taupalo and get, uh, get all the other benefits, so that's good. During sleep research, one will be hungry, dishes are set to salads, final strength, blah, blah, blah. This is just kind of breaking down everything. I'm just checking to make sure there isn't something that we missed. Uh, a few Pokemon, pseudo balanced sleep, uh, certain Pokemon more likely to appear. Yep. And may meet certain shiny Pokemon. So maybe sir, uh, the event Pokemon shiny boost uh, rates are boosted. Uh, whoa. Oh, that's for the last day of the event. For the other days, it is the same, it looks like. So what's different? Oh, it's just the bonus to the extra tasty dishes. Everything else is the same. Yeah, everything else is reading the same. Here we go. Pokemon that are easier to encounter during the event. Uh, the greater appearance rate for the grass types, Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Venusaur, Bellsprout line, Chikorita line, Leafeon. Uh, for the fairy types, the Clefairy line, Jigglypuff line, Cleffa, Togepi, uh, Sylveon, and Comfey. Uh, the greater appearance rate for these Pokemon applies on only to the separate areas where each Pokemon appears. So here's where we have to make a decision on where we want to go. It looks like no matter what island you're on, you are going to get some higher spawn rates. So it really just depends on what you're trying to catch. This is a long list, so buckle up. Okay, for Green Grass Isle, the higher spawn rates are for Bulbasaur, and I'm just going to say the first evolution of the line. So for Bulbasaur, Bellsprout, 
Chikorita, and Leafy on higher rates on green grass, uh, as well as Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Cleffa, Togepi, and Sylveon, and Comfey. So pretty much every Pokemon. I think all of those spawn on green grass for every event Pokemon, so that's good. Cyan Beach, if you want to narrow it down to Bellsprout or Chikorita, as well as Clefairy, Jigglypuff, and uh, losing it because they have them have them weirdly out of order. The baby Pokemon are last, I guess, because it's in Pokedex order. But that threw me off. The Bellsprout line, Chikorita line, Cleffa and Jigglypuff lines as well. Uh, for Tau Palo, you've got the Clefairy line, the Jigglypuff line, and Togepi. For Snowdrop, you have Bellsprout, Clefairy, Jigglypuff, uh, and Togepi. And then for Lapis, it looks like most everybody again. Uh, it looks like Greengrass and Lapis have a pretty similar spawn table. Uh, Bulbasaur, Bellsprout, Chikorita. Uh, well, Lapis does have the benefit of getting Bayleaf and Meganium as well, not only Chikorita like Greengrass has. Uh, and then Clefairy. Jigglypuff, uh, Togepi, and Comfe. So no Sylveon on Lapis, but you can get Sylveon on Greengrass. The rest looks pretty much the same. So definitely it looks like if you just want to maximize your potential event spawns, Greengrass or Lapis is the way to go. If you're looking for those event spawns, you might, and you can pull off a pretty decent score at Lapis, it's probably best to go there and go ahead and get a good corn ingredient gatherer if you don't have one already. And then here's the notes about the flower festival looks like all the same stuff as normal so we're not going to go through all of this nothing looks new or different so yeah there's all the same stuff as any other event so no need to read through all that but definitely some exciting times coming up that means uh we're getting more pokemon which is always good uh we already know that entei or suicune's coming up soon well both of them technically but one before the other uh, which means we're probably also going to get another P Pokemon of their type to go along with it. So, very nice. But all right, we did get a medal. Uh, cooking for Snorlax 630 times. Worth 3,900 Dream Shards, which is good. That's going straight into the pot to increase that maximum pot size. Uh, and then we've got our community reports. Let's see what's going on here. We have... 41 reports with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 that have doubled up. So well over that 25% that we'd like to see. Very good. No level ups today. That's all right. We'll get them tomorrow. And moving on into breakfast, let's see what we've got. Uh, we do need to swap out some team members. A good amount of oil from you for your last day on the team. Very nice. Uh, we got some candy from you. That's good. Can you also give me a skill trigger today? Nice. Sometimes you just got to ask nicely. All right. So let's get some of that corn. Uh, looks like about eight. That's pretty good. Um... Definitely going to get plenty of berries and a skill trigger from you. You have been doing great this week. Keep up the good work, buddy. I appreciate you. You, another skill trigger. So that's what, three out of four? Not too bad. Looks like a bunch of sausage and barely any corn, but that's to be expected. We got another four corn from him. And then how about you? How are you doing today? Looks like about the same amount of oil as what we got from the other one. But definitely throughout the rest of yesterday, the shiny Toxicroak was definitely outperforming the other Toxicroak. Just go figure when I actually get them on camera, they're both about the same. <laughs> but off camera, shiny was definitely bringing in a lot more oil. And here in a second, you will see what I'm talking about when you see how much oil I have compared to what my supply was looking like the yesterday. Uh, we are definitely making popcorn. We've actually started to knock out a bit of this sausage but it looks like it's starting to stack back up again where's the oil yeah 52 oil now and there's like what 26 or something like that yesterday so i feel like we're at a good spot where we can swap out the other toxic croak and let the shiny one kind of take over oil production for the rest of the week 
and we should be all right outside of a couple times, which is probably going to be popcorn is more going to be the limiting factor than oil. But we should be all right for the rest of the week. We do need to get ready for Sunday anyway. Because really, Master 3 is my only goal this week, just to try to, in terms of rank, just to try to get that incense. But we are going to get 19,530 strength from the popcorn. And that will put us uh, probably about three quarters of the way to Master 1. Honestly, we may not even need Sunday's meals to get to Master 3, because we were only expected to get to Master 1 by the end of the week anyway. Oh, about half to Master 1, so that's good. Master 3 is 4... What is it? 472,000? So yeah, we're only 130,000 away. That's... That's pretty easy to cover in the rest of today and then the next two days. So we may not have to cook all three meals on Sunday. We might be able to go ahead and stock up for next week, which... I'm kind of on the fence on where I want to go for next week. Oh, we got something. Oh, we got another medal. What do we do? Oh, how many times main skills have triggered? 1,280 for 10 diamonds. You know what? For a passive one, that's pretty easy to just happen. I'll take some diamonds for that. All right. So now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and swap out. This Toxic Croak, uh, there you are, buddy. You've done well, but it's time for you to rest before you hit level 30 and ruin everything. Um, let's see, for Sunday, I think really the only thing worthwhile on Sunday might be the... Uh, mm, you know what? We could go for the tea time corn scones just to work on leveling it up let's see if we get it to level 34 yeah it still doesn't perform as well as the flower gift macarons but it's not bad the only downside is the macarons are just easier to get ingredients for because we have the blastoise that can get us cocoa and milk which we need milk for, you know what? This was not even a question now that I'm thinking it through. We need milk anyway for the popcorn. Where's it at? Yeah, popcorn. So with Blastoise on the team, he usually brings in enough milk to cover both popcorn and still have a surplus for the, the end of the week. The hard part's gonna be the eggs and the honey, especially since right now we're just barely getting enough corn to make the popcorn for every meal. And I, we could drop Marowak off of the team, but I really don't want to. Um, yeah, I really don't want to drop Marowak from the team. It's, it's putting in a lot of good work for us. Um, and it's going to be pretty good later on down the road. Not perfect, but pretty good. The only thing that would make it better is if it had energy recovery up nature, but main skill chance up nature is really good too for this one. It's actually better for this. Now that I think about it, it's better for the skill to trigger more often than for you to get more out of the skill from the nature. But we're going to have a hard time with the eggs and the, and the honey. So hopefully, hopefully I can get a good supply of milk and maybe even the cocoa over today and tomorrow to where man it's gonna be a it's gonna be a hard sunday maybe we'll just get lucky and we won't have to worry about sunday because we'll already hit master three and that's really all i care about in terms of rank getting higher rank would make it easier to find an onyx but ultimately the cyndaquil is why we're here you already got all of that geez good job um, the Cyndaquil is ultimately why why we're here. The Onyx is just to like, hey, if we get one, that's fantastic. But the goal is the Cyndaquil. So, and I'm honestly kind of surprised we haven't seen one at all. It's actually been very strange. Very strange. But I guess it's just kind of the way things go when everything's RNG based. But let's go ahead and collect. We've got Ultra 4, which gives us another small dream cluster. And that is gonna be all that we have for today so hopefully 
you have enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. And until next time, later, dudes.